your host, Mike Osborne, and today, this is episode 120. Uh, we're playing Forza Horizon 4, and we're going to win the Porsche 718 GTS. Uh, Hog Monet Street Party. Let's take a look-see, and we need a modern sports car, A800, in the snow. Let it snow, or let's go, and let's go. All right, A800 sports car. Welcome back, Aussie. Welcome back to me. Welcome back to you. Hey, uh, by the way, if you're watching right now on Twitch or YouTube, go ahead and hit that sub button. Hook me up. My goal for the year is to become a Twitch and a YouTube partner, and I'm so ridiculously far away from that goal, but every follow, every share, every like helps. So go ahead and hook me up with that sub button. I'll follow back. Uh, so let's get it on. We need a A800. Um, I guess we're going to the auto show. A800 modern sports car, I believe. Uh, let's pick out. Uh, oopsies. I want to go to filter. My, oops, not country. Sorry. Car type. All right, did it again. I'll get it right this time. Modern sports cars perfectly. And we need an A800. Hmm, it looks like a fun one here. Modern sports cars, there we go. All right. Oh, I do love these Lotuses. Subaru. 370Z is a sexy car too. Alpha, Griffith, can't do that one. SLK? Hmm. Oh, Vauxhall action, huh? TT? TTS? Hmm. Let's see. What looks fun? So, if I was going to pick, it would be between... I guess I am going to pick. It would be between the 370 Lotus. The Evora? Hmm. Evora. Let's just pick something with a lot of speed. Let's start there. How about that? Griffiths has a lot of speed, but it's already out of our class. That S S L K seven seven speed. And that TT's got a nice start at seven forty. It's already all wheel drive. 7-4, yeah, that's the start. I think the TT is the way to go. All right, so we're going to start with the TT. The 2015 Audi TTS Coupe. coupe the Coupe. Uh, that's the one for sure. So that's the one we're going to go with. And this is going to be a speed tune. I'm going to tune this bad boy straight out for speed. Uh, I'm going to attempt just balls to the balls. All right, uh, I like that right there. Creator is three, four, six production. Okay, that guy. So thank you, that guy, for the TTS CG, uh, CG1 ZKT. Downloading that, sticking it on the car. That way I'll know it's tuned up and ready to roll. Uh, honestly, I see these TTs a lot um, in... Um, Playground games and these TTs are always monsters, man. They're just well, just well. They're, they're tiny, they're quick, all wheel drive, so they got good handling and they, they're fast, so they're good for playground games. Gonna be great for racing in the snow, also. I mean, I was already gonna go ahead and make it all wheel drive, whatever car we picked. But this one had the decent top end. I mean, we were looking at a lot of 7.2s and 6s. This one has a 7.4. Uh, the only one faster I thought was SLK, which was a 7.7, but this had better acceleration, and it had a lower class rating to begin with. So, perfect starting point, 7.40. We're going to build it up to A800. Let's get into the tuning. All right. Custom tune, of course. We're going to check out the swaps. And we already know that it's an all-wheel drive, so we don't have to touch that. It's good, good, good. 
a stock powertrain or an i6 turbo rally uh yes please i will take that this is gonna lose us some weight take us up in the torque down in horsepower and actually makes the motor smaller and better weight distribution so that's good and it only jumps us up about 13 let's attempt to free up some top end here with the well that didn't work at all did it so we're going to do that unlock the final drive and probably stop there we're going to go straight from here wow there's not many upgrades you can do to the turbo oops guess not uh-huh okay interesting it's an interesting build already damn you it's pretty good though seven eight six four nine one ten zero and some room to play oh let's let's, let's let's start over here take that off i'm gonna start over here because i got a different idea i want to go that way that way yeah that's probably what i want to do Yep, that's what I want to do. So from here, go there because it drops off weight. I don't think any of these other ones drop off any weight. <clears throat> Seven nine nine one ten zero. So I'm just going to work on getting some handling better here. Uh, get some lightweight rims on there. Drop it down. We're already pretty much ooh, the only thing we're going to get out of it. Um, out of the motor. Let's see. Nah. Hey, I like that. It actually took us down. Took us down in reading. See that? Nope, but it improved everything. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. Siphon up with the front and rear race. Drop it down to the floor. Hmm. Going back to the motor. I guess that's going to be it right there. Let's 
see what we got for the arrow. No. And no. Okay, I guess that's the tune. Um, I wanted to get a little more top end out of it, but we just won't get it. So that's the tune. It's a seven, eight, six, six, nine, two, ten, five, nine at two, eight, four, one, two, two hundred, two thousand eight hundred forty-one pounds. So that's the tune. Let's save the setup. I'm gonna call it. Um, call it perfect who knows if it's actually perfect we're just gonna brag a little bit and pretend that it is we don't know if it is I don't know if it is so we're gonna use this to go ahead and win the Porsche yes oh god let me tell you about these uh, it's a 718 I believe we're going for I freaking love these Porsches I think the 718 is the Cayman and the Boxster so great great little cars uh, the new ones are especially dope could be wrong about that but uh, right here, keyword one is going to be off the line. Keyword two is going to be good for speed. Description is going to be still in FAC on Twitch. And if you're watching now, and you're watching on Twitch or you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and hit that sub button for me, please. Uh, my goal for 2021, so my goal before 2022, is to become a Twitch and YouTube partner. Now, still in FAC on Twitch, that's still not fooling around crew, and not fooling around crew is what it's called, uh, my channel on YouTube. That's what NFAC stands for, not fooling around crew. Not fooling around crew is the name on YouTube as well. So as you can see here, uh, the weight way down. We lost about 200 pounds, gained about 67 horsepower, gained 0.1 lateral G. 0.1 G's and uh, up from 740 to 800 at 55, 51 thousand dollars to get her done. Got a dope ass paint job. And we're gonna go win a Porsche with it, a hard to find Porsche. So that's fucking cool. My favorite thing about these uh, cars that you can win is that they are hard to find. They're rare cars sometimes, and they're always awesome to tune. They always tune out so fucking fun. So really looking forward to get my hands on another Porsche. I have some great Porsche tunes, so if you stick around to the end of the video, uh, I'll make a tune for the Porsche too. So don't forget to do that. Stay hang around to the end or fast forward to the end now, whatever you want to do. But the Porsche tune, I promise you, is going to be a dope one. It's, uh, my money is on me making something dope at the end of the video for sure. So let's find out where to drive to. So many races, so little time. Hey, is that just yesterday? Cool, thanks everybody for downloading the tunes and liking it. That's great, I appreciate that. Cool, cool. Hopefully I can do a good tune here for you with this one. So let's just take a minute right here and spin out these super wheel spins. Bang. Oh yeah, I can use some money for sure. All the tuning I do, you always need money. I bought an expensive ass car yesterday too. Ooh, little little Aston Martin Vulcan Forza Edition. Thank you, please. Ooh, I could sell it for eight hundred and seventy five grand, but you know what? I never sell cars, I collect cars. Let's keep on rolling. One more, no whammies, caddy, limo, Pontiac, Trans Am, and twenty grand. Awesome. Add it to the garage, bro. I want all the cars. All the cars. Subaru. WRX. Love it. Look at that. Oh, what a score. Those are some fucking scores right there. Number 199 Subaru WR WRX and the 911 GT 295. Fucking beautiful. That was a dope spin right there. I'm happy. Happy with that. So one more, one more, one more. Give me some Lily Leggings and a polo. Who wouldn't want to wear that together? Lily Leggings and a blue stripe polo. Sign me up. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Stop. And I look like V in Cyberpunk. 2077 that's that's v's tank top right there charcoal tank top with a little bit of spit up on it or something i don't know so that's that let's uh go over to the home festival playlist and find where the next race is going to be again i am mike osborne your host and thank you for watching 
So there it is, the 718 GTS. I do believe the 718 is going to be a Cayman. Love the Caymans and Boxsters, I really do. New Boxsters are fucking amazing, by the way. I was never a fan of the Boxsters back in the day, but man, the new ones are amazing. Like for the past, like, I don't know, eight years, I don't know, five years, they've been fucking amazing. I want to get my hands on a Boxster or a Cayman in real life. This car is just cruising through the snow. Cruising through the snow. It's good to drive to your first race, especially after just tuning a car like this, because uh, you don't want to be learning to drive it in the race. You want to be learning, learning the car before you get there. What you want to learn, ideally, is... Uh, if you drive like I do with these uh, these lines, the, 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 the arrows that show you where to go, basically what you want to know is you want to know is if you drive hard into the red and then you start braking, will you make the turn? That's what you're trying to find out. Because if you hit the red and you start braking and you don't, or aren't able to make the turn, then you need to know before you're racing to start braking before the red. That's, that's basically what you want to know. You're trying to find out if you can drive it hard into the red or if you need to stop before the red. This TT is flying. Come on, get on the road. There we go. Right, let's back it up. Thank you to whoever designed this skin. As soon as they give me the opportunity to thank this person, I will. Thank you to you for watching. Um, we're going to go ahead and win that GTS. And we're going to use the TT to do it. This TT can be purchased straight from the auto show. That's why I picked it. I think it was uh, not very expensive. 52 k for the car. I think 52 for the upgrade. So it's about 100 k to get it just built up just like it is right now. Well worth it if you're going to get your hands on one of them uh, hard to find Porsches. And you want this TT anyways, um, it's one of the better cars for like playground games and stuff. These TTs are dope. And at A800, it's not one of the fastest top ends, but it's, it's a well-rounded car. I'm uh, going to be good here for racing in the snow. It's got good acceleration, okay top end, good handling, all-wheel drive. Nope, oh, we made it. And here we go. Street Scene Modern Sports Cars A800. First place is a Porsche 918 GTS. Yes, please. You ready to take on this winter championship? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So for, this is going to be especially good for racing through Edinburgh because it's going to be a lot of you know, left turn, right turn, stop, go, stop, left turn, right turn. It's not going to be like long straightaways. If it was going to be long straightaways, this TT might not be the ideal car for it. But since we're going to be racing through the city, this is good acceleration. You don't need all the top end. So this is going to be a great tune for this. I suspect we're just going to eat everybody up quick. I'm still in FAC. Uh, in FAC stands for not fooling around crew. That's the name of the YouTube channel as well. So uh, if you're not subbed to the YouTube channel to Twitch, go ahead and do that. I'll be uh, following everybody back who follows. That's just how we get down here. So thanks for watching and let's get to racing. Oh, you bastard. Someone pushed me into that. All good, bro. I'm coming for you. Street scene. It's tough, man. It's tough. They tried to murder me. They tried to kill me, bro. Head on to another car. Like at 90 miles an hour, this fucking dude tried to murder me. It's not fucking cool at all. That's right, though. We'll come, we'll come back after. Uh, come right back after him and take first place. Like, 
They didn't try to kill me. Oh, ho, 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 you saw that car out of nowhere. Street scene is tough like that. But we gotta love it though. I'm taking out trash cans. Fucking up the whole neighborhood. That's how I drive. I'll get to take out your fences, take out cars. Hopefully your kids aren't playing in the street. Oh man, that's terrible. I'm just joking. Here we go. Let's get it. Where's everybody at? They wrecked, right? And I fucking spun that car out. Right in that corner. Probably took out the whole field. That's what they get. They're trying to murder me. It's not polite to try and kill your fellow racers, man. One thing they're written. It's another thing to try to put my life in danger. So, uh... Uh, while we're racing down the highway, heading down the highway, bow, 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 looking for a wow, wow, I don't really know the words. Uh, anyways, like I was starting to say before I, my brain got a little funky, uh, NBA DFS is going on tonight. I got some shit. That's what I'm talking about. Got into the red a little far before I hit the brakes. But I'm playing some NBA DFS tonight. There's a couple games on tonight. Three games on, I think, tonight. And, uh... When I started this video, because I play, I race because I can't watch the games. Once I bet money on the games, I can't look at them because it's just too intense. I, I prefer racing anyways. I don't really care about the basketball. I just want the, I just want to bet the money. So I play DFS, and uh, when I left, I was up. I put 30 in, and I was up to 60 bucks. So winning 30. See how that goes. I'll keep you guys up to date how that goes by the end of the show I'll take another look to see where I'm at and that's an easy piece of victory stay tuned to the end of the show or if you're watching it not live just go ahead and fast forward to the end if you're interested because I'm gonna do a T not the TT I'm gonna do the 718 GTS tune right at the back of the back of the video here I think I think I have some really good 718 tunes already um, so yeah just that's a great car I already know that Tuna, no crust. And TT's a good car for sure. A little victory burnout. And some little property damage. And let's head on to the next event. Bang. Get it. This is the way. Bang. Here we go. Go. Modern Tours cars are great, like group. I love these cars in here. I love tuning these cars up to A and S. They're great, great cars. Her Hermione Street Party. That's what it says, I think. Kind of with the with the with the snow going and shit, kind of reminds me of Hogwarts and Harry Potter videos, uh, movies. I don't ever rem remember seeing Harry and Ron driving sports cars down the Edinburgh though, but you know maybe those are deleted scenes that I didn't see. I don't know. Movies in the books. Just Ron and Harry just tearing through Hogwarts in their Audi TTs like picking up Hermione and be like yo bitch get in the back or anything I don't, <laughs> I don't think that was in the videos at all damn this freaking taxi or whatever the hell it is that's what I get for calling Hermione a bitch she should put a spell on me like some uh, Hermione was cool she definitely held it down way more than, than, more than Ron did for sure Ron was a straight pansy Hermione was gangster compared to Ron, for sure. Harry was a bit of a bitch, too, but... All in all, I thought they were excellent movies and books. <laughs> uh, this is me racing and reviewing the Harry Potter books as we uh, race through Edinburgh. Uh, this is the kind of content you can expect here. Top notch. So go ahead and hit that sub button. You get all the Harry Potter book knowledge you want right here. Uh, yep. Two for one package over here. Harry Potter and racing. You're welcome. 
Jesus, man, these freaking streets seem brutal. Get up. Do I even have time to win this race? Come on, get up on them. Push them into a fucking wall if you got to. Oh, push myself into the wall like a dummy. Damn it. I'm probably going to lose the race because of that. How much time do I have to get to the end here? This is a tough race right here. Oh, damn me. I didn't even see the flag I missed. Where is it? Oh, I barely missed it. All right. All right, let's get that flag. My fault. Damn, I'm not going to win this one. Oh, come on, get there. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Got one of them, I think. Second place. Now, third place? Come on, I'm ahead of that car. What are you talking about, third place? Oh, we tied, tied. Check that out. Never seen that before. Ah, whatever, bro. You guys screwed me. Well, let's move on. We're winning the third race. Uh, that's what I get for talking about Harry Potter and calling Hermione a bitch. Never call Hermione a bitch. You will end up in third place. All right. Next race. Let's go. 346 production. Thank you for designing this skin. I like the skin a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. On to the next race. Oh, yeah. So here's what we can do. Just real quick, I'll tell you what's going on in NBA DFS. So... I'm breaking that down, see if I'm winning any money. Is give me one second here and 70 bucks. Awesome, started with 30, now I'm up to 70. That's cool, man. Hopefully, by the end of the show, I'm winning a couple hundred thousand. I don't think I'm in a hundred thousand today, I think it's like for 20k or something. But turn 30 into 70, if you can turn 30 into 70 every night, you'd be pretty happy with that. I mean, I'm gonna change your life. But if you could do it every night, I guess it could, right? If you made 40 bucks every night, 300 days a year, that's not enough to change your life at all. So never mind, but still better than nothing. Supplement your income. So yeah, uh, still on FAC on Twitch. Watch me on Twitch right now. Hit that sub button. Hook me up. You know you love these Harry Potter references. You don't get them everywhere one-of-a-kind content here. Uh, I have no idea. Maybe there are other people talking about Harry Potter while they're racing. I don't know. NBA DFS, Harry Potter, and um, Audi TTs. Not fucking around, crew. That's what NFAC stands for. That's Oh, and you know what it's from? It's from the town, actually. In the, in the town, if you've seen the movie The Town, um, the bank robbers, uh, the armored truck robbers actually, rob armored trucks, pretty cool movie if you haven't seen The Town, go watch it. But, so the feds are like, um, going after Ben Affleck's crew, and the fed calls, he says, these guys are the not fucking around crew, we need to show them we're not fucking around too. So that's where I stole NFACs from. That's the not fucking around crew. That's where it came from. And then I, you know, went on to YouTube and had to make it more um, friendly. So we called it the not fooling around crew. And that's how that came about. I actually had a uh, G35 coupe. And the reason I mention it is that car that I just passed is a 370Z. 350Z, 370Z. Uh, G35, G37 coupe, they're all the same car, pretty much. A G35 coupe, the Infinity was a nice car. That that uh, 3.5 liter Nissan motor is sick. I never wrote, drove the 3.7 one uh, in the 370, but the 3.5 was nice. That was a 2003 I had. Uh, love that car, it was blue. That car was a good car. Here we go. Edinburgh is tough. You need to have good acceleration and good turning. That's my buddy Mike right there. Sorry, Mike. He's not actually racing, obviously. It's just his driver tar, but... Except, dude, we, uh... 
played fantasy football together this season. He came in third. Sucked for him. I came in first. I won about 800 bucks. His team was the best team all season, though. He just, like, kind of fell apart late, which is the worst. I mean, he had the most points scored all year long. He had the best record all year long until, like, the last week of the season. Uh, he lost the bye, and then he got eliminated in the playoffs. So, like, his team fell apart. Like, the last two weeks when you really needed it to come together fell apart. But as far as my team, my team got better. Last two weeks, I had Alvin Kamara in uh, the championship game. He put up six touchdowns. So, that was Christmas Day. So, thank you, Alvin Kamara, for that. That was a good Christmas gift. And actually, it's, it's even more than that for me because my birthday is December 19th. So, like, my birthday was the week before. So, like, I got a... $800, you know, for, for winning the fantasy football championship because of Alvin Kamara, and uh, it's a week after my birthday, so that's always good. That's that, the Audi TTS, that's my buddy Michelangelo, the guy I was talking about came in third, so. Sorry, Mike, didn't mean to beat you in this and in fantasy football this season, but next season, me and you'll get into it. So that's that, let's check out this Hermione Street Party, the, um, 718S, GTS, 718GTS, yes, so, yes, can't wait to get it, get it, get it, get it, uh, I'm thinking you're going to have to tune it to an S1, hopefully not an S2, eh, fuck it, I don't care if it's an S2, I like S2, so give me a 9, 998 all day, but I think it's going to turn out to a 900, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So, thanks for watching. This is the Audi TTS tune. I'm going to run it back to the house and show you the tune one more time because obviously it worked exceptionally well here for this type of races in Edinburgh. It's got good handling, uh, good acceleration. Uh, it kind of just ran past everybody pretty easily as long as you're paying attention. There you go. Yeah, it's a Cayman. Like I said, 718 Cayman GTS. Fucking awesome. That's about a Cayman GTS. I bet it's about a $120,000 car. Maybe $80,000, $100,000 car love those cars uh, i'd love to get a used one personally but anyways so want to get my hands on the cayman or a box there uh so i'm here where's the closest garage go down here i suppose nothing down here right yeah fuck it i'll run across town to here we'll go back to here this is where i'm from anyways and uh gives me a little more time to enjoy the t2 because it is a lot of fun this car So, uh, I'm going to go back to the house, and I'm going to show you the TT Tune again, in case anybody wants to download the TT Tune, it's a good one, and it will help you win the Cayman. Cayman is such an awesome car. I, I'm totally hooked on Porsches. Uh, my favorite cars right now, in real life, is going to be a Cayman, um, the new Corvette, the mid-engine, all-wheel drive one, I think there is the ZR, whatever the new one, it's not even out yet, I don't think the all-wheel drive one, the mid-engine Corvette is out, but I don't think the all-wheel drive mid-engine one is out yet, maybe it is, maybe it's not, but uh, they are making one, that's that's the one, you know, obviously, um, so the came in the Corvette, and then, hey, wonder if they're going to get the new Corvette, wonder if they're going to get the new Corvette in this game, I should go look for that. Uh, and so those are my two favorite right now, I would say. I have, I have another one, but I completely forget what the hell I was thinking of, so. I'm just gonna stop it right there. The Cayman and the Corvette are dope-ass cars. And I also like the Boxster. I mean, Boxster and Cayman is the same car. Uh, the Cayman is the hardtop version. The Boxster is the convertible. So it's the same car. They're both 718s. Um, the Cayman is hard top boxer is the convertible. That's the only difference. I live in Florida, so you got to get the box there. But the Caymans are so sexy. The new boxers are super sexy though. Like it used to be that the Cayman was a lot better looking than the Boxster, but that switched a couple years ago. The Boxster right now is freaking phenomenal. So, still in FAC on Twitch, go ahead and hit that sub button, please, and I'll show you the uh, the tune that we just ran the TT with to win the, the Cayman. So, here's the tune. 
run it real quick. It is a, it's a stock drivetrain with the i6 i4 turbo rally. Damn, I'd like to do one without it too. I'd like to run one with the stock power plant, but whatever. Uh, it runs the i i6 turbo rally. Um, from there we go to the cams are stock. The block is stock. The block is stock. The block is stock. Stock turbo. And then you're going to go with the race restrictor plate. Uh, actually, it's just completely. What is the difference? Remove restrictors. No restrictor plate. Remove restrictors. Whatever that means. It's the race restrictor plate, I suppose. Oh, removing the restrictors in the restrictor plate. Gotcha. 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 Okay. So, anyways, you want to remove the restrictors. Um. Check that. Yeah, you got the stock brakes dropped to the floor. You got the race front and rear roll bars. You've got the stock chassis support and the street weight reduction. Uh, it's going to be a race clutch. This street training, no sport training. The race drive line, the race differential, and you're gonna go with the stock tires. They are stock width up front, and then got the 285s in the back with the lightest rims you can get, and that's either these ones or these ones. Compared to stock, they are, I don't know. It's just these ones. This one and this one, these BBSs, there's a bunch of them that all weigh this, but this is the one, they're the lightest one you can put on. So go ahead, put the lightest rims on. And there's a bunch of options you could choose there. Push it out all the way, front and rear, uh, the track width, and then no arrow whatsoever. And then if you want to just load it up the way I built it, uh, the setup is called perfect. That's what it's called, perfect. 377 horsepower, 417 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, 2,841 pounds, 55%, and a 1.6 liter motor. That's the TT tuned to A800. So, when you do that, and you go ahead and you win the Cayman, let's jump on into the Porsche and see what it's all about. I think I already have the Porsche tuned up perfectly to S1. Cayman GTS. Uh, yep. Yeah. I do. Oh, gotcha. I have a 2015 and then the spider. This spider is so good. Cool. So this is something new that I don't have. Rare Epic. Awesome. 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 Carrera S. Cool. Yeah. Big Porsche lover. So awesome. This is fun. Let's go ahead and tune it out. It's an 808. Let's tune it up to either 998 or 900. Great. This will be fun. So from this part of the video all the way, the rest of the way out, it's going to be tuning up the Cayman. So uh, I am still in FAC. Mike Osborne. Ozzy man. Let's take a spin around the car. So when you get a new car, you want to check the lines to make sure it's not been in an accident. It's a GTS, uh, the lines look clean, and Aussie man tag, 718 Cayman GTS, man, that is sexy. All right, looks good, looks good, no lemons here. Let's go. Tune it up. So, as always, we started the, the uh, make it all-wheel drive. Damn, I really thought these things came out all the drive. That is disappointing. Um, hmm. Man, that's a lot. I should like that a lot, though. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pop that one in there. The F6. I think that leaves us plenty of room to go ahead and do what we need to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and do that too. Um, I'm going to
gonna stick with the stock tires, but I am gonna push them all the way out. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can free up some top end. Nope, so I'm gonna leave that be. And I'm gonna drop it down and stiffen up the suspension. Let's try and get some more top end out of it. Alright, that works good. Bang, and then uh, free up the cams. Getting pretty good there. 893, man. Okay. Uh, this takes a lot of weight off. Yeah, damn it. Hmm. I hate to stop there tuning, but that could be the tune. It's, uh, it's right at 889510. The numbers I'm looking at specifically, I'm not worried about the handling and braking. The numbers I'm looking at specifically are the speed, acceleration, and launch. And we're at an 889510. 889510. At 900. Thirty-three miles an hour in nine hundred. Three two oh nine. All right, so I'm going back to the engine to see what we can do. Nope. Damn it. All right. So I'm going to go back to the other setup, which is the one with the cams. I think I had that in there too. Let's go ahead and take that off. Put the cam back on. 889410. Take this one. Hmm. Take that one off. Damn you. All right, so I think hopefully this will work. What am I doing? Come on now, wake up. 8895 10. Okay. Yeah, I think this is going to be the setup here. Oh, yes. Okay. Damn it. Hmm. Is it worth it, though? Lose three pounds. Get a little more top end. Full gear tuning. No, fuck it. I'm not going to touch that. Damn it. It helps us out a little bit in the top end. Eight, nine. So we're at 237, 240. So it's a 2179-4692, 2179-4692, 2179-4692. You see that? The acceleration and speed, The it says, your acceleration and launch, 9510. With this setup, it says it's... 9510, right? With this one, it says it's slower, 8897, but the numbers tell you differently. 21790 to 60, 4692, 0 to 100. Now look, 23. Over here, it's a 21. Over here, it's a 46. Over here, it's a 49. So it says that your acceleration and launch are worse with this transmission, but they're not. It's actually better. So we're going to go ahead and pop that in. Why do they do that? No idea. Just to fuck with you. 
So there you go. Now you see it. You know why we're doing it. So that's that. We gained some 8 and 9. We lost, and I'm doing air quotes, acceleration and launch, but we actually didn't. Just that uh, you and I know what really happened. And we still have some room. Bang. Isn't that beautiful? 909099. Let's see. All right, so we're going to go over here, put this one on here. So this is going to be the S1900 tune, and it is a fucking beauty, I promise you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just seeing if there's anything else we can squeeze out of it. Mm, nope. So you get 11 horsepower for adding 50 pounds of weight. 40 pounds of weight, yeah, it's not worth it. So go ahead and just keep that off. Go ahead and see if we can get some lighter rims on here, huh? Like I said, um, these are the lightest ones, and can't get them on there. See if there's anything in between 0 and 14. There's not. Okay, so that's that. We're just going to leave it. Uh, you can change the rims if you want, as long as it stays on zero. Um, I like those, but they put a weight on the car. Damn, those are cool. Right now, I'm just looking for rims that speak to me. Oh, yeah, those speak to me. Those are nice. All right, so that's the tune. Uh, I'm going to head and save it right here. We're going to call it perfect because, let's be honest, this car probably is perfect. I mean, maybe not the tune, but I mean this car. The Cayman itself, the 718 GTS Cayman is perfect. And then we'll go ahead and slap a, um, a skin on it. So we know uh, this is off the line and best for speed. And it's going to say still in FAC on Twitch. And if you're on Twitch right now and you like the video, go ahead and hit that sub button, please. If I see that you subbed, I will for sure get you back with the sub. And that goes for YouTube, too. If you're watching on YouTube now, the sister channel on YouTube, it's my channel as well. It's called Not Fooling Around Crew. First word, not fooling. Last word is around crew. It should be four words, but it's only two. Not fooling around crew. Um, yeah, and if you follow me there, I'll follow you back as well. Sub to your channel, whatever it is you want me to do, I got you. So we're going to go ahead and install this setup for 77 grand. Uh, the weight goes up a hair. Peak power goes up, uh, it doubles actually. Lateral G's stay about the same. And class, same class, but it's the top of the class. So it's an S1900 tune for the 2018, the epic 2018 Porsche Cayman 718 GTS. And if you don't know, now you know. And let's go into the designs and paints find a new design this week and slap it on there i kind of like that orange one to be completely honest with you oh that's orange brulee hello uh i kind of do like that orange one but let's look around that one's dope this one's dope too wow look at that huh i like the girls on the cars i can't lie I have a bunch of girls on cars, so I kind of want to stick with that theme. But man, this one right here is a really nice livery. Whoever made this one, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go with that one. I really like that one. That's a nice livery. Thank you to whoever designed this livery. You did an awesome job. I, I wanted to go with the girl just to keep with the theme, but this one looks so cool. I, I broke from my theme just for you. So thank you for doing a good job. And look at that. That's cool, huh? Uh, I have to take a quick leak, 
so if you're actually watching live right now I apologize uh, the camera's just gonna spin around this car I suppose for a little bit while I run to the restroom and take a quick leak I've been drinking a lot of water uh, I just want to get you set up where you can look at the car just it's taking forever crap oh uh, yeah I love this car so love it love it love it this will be my car uh, I'm going to get a Cayman or a Boxster probably a Boxster uh, come on get me here where I can look at the car that's what I want to do there we go um, Forza Vista there we go just take a peek at the car I'll be right back I am back and let's take a look see promo yes please photo canes another player car or drive a tar and take him within Edinburgh well it sure isn't but we can drive over there and do that let's do that right uh, look if you want a little update oh, I'm only winning 55 bucks now I went down from 70 to 55 oh well can't always get what you want I wonder if you could drive this Porsche in any of the um, events, uh, the current events, the, um, what do they call it, the festival playlist, that's what I want to find out, any 900 uh, events for the play for this to jump into, uh, winter games, um, velociraptor, Super wheel spin. Season event Velociraptor. Um, let's see, what does this one say? Season playground games. Nope. So we're just gonna head over to Edinburgh. And I will race this car once. Maybe take it into some live racing, that would be fun too, huh? Take it down the highway, heading down the highway. So I'm going to take it into Edinburgh and do a little race. What's this? That's where I'm going to go, race the Edinburgh there. Wow, it sounds amazing, doesn't it? Look at that, that's cool. The dude did a good job on this. Which is slidey. So this tune definitely um, focused a lot on speed. Um, probably a little bit that could have been, could have focused a bit more on handling, 
This might not be the best run. Um, this might not be the best setup to run through Edinburgh, especially in the snow. Because it is more, um, it's more set up for running down, uh, fuck. It's more set up for top speed than it is good handling and, uh, quick, quick acceleration. I mean, it's got great acceleration, you know. But it's not set up for for turning, more or less. Like it could be, you're not going to be the fastest guy through the turns in this one. So we'll see how it goes. But it, this this tune is more going to be for like kind of street scenes, but the sprints more than the circuits. So I think this actually is a sprint. This one kind of takes us out of town, so it might be okay. But the other races that are in town, it's like. With the stop and go stuff. This isn't gonna be the one. I think I think I picked a sprint anyways for the heads out of town, but you'll see. You'll see. Anyways, this is the Porsche 718 the Cayman in 2018 Cayman GTS. You have arrived at your destination. So I'm not gonna actually do the championship. We need to go into the normal event. There we go. And try the Cayman out. So it's still an FAC on Twitch and not fooling around crew on YouTube. If you like the videos, go ahead and hit that sub button and I'll hit you back for sure. Oh, you bastard! Street scenes are sick, man. They're just booby traps everywhere. Love it though, racing at night through the city or whatever with these fucking flares. It's awesome. Definitely, like, Forza did such a good job with this. One of my favorite games is sports. Uh, my other favorite game right now is that Cyberpunk, man. Cyberpunk is so good. I don't care what anybody says. You talk about how bad the game is. You're fucking bonkers. The game is amazing. How was y'all New Year's Eve? Did you do good stuff for New Year's? Uh, I went over to uh, Whiskey Joe's in Tampa. Uh, they had a New Year's a little party thing there. I didn't stay for the ball to drop or anything like that. I didn't even stay for the fireworks. I, I kind of left early, man. It was crazy packed there and went to dinner beforehand and, you know, I had a, had a beer when I got there. It was just, just crazy. It was lots of people. They overbooked it for sure. And then, uh, so we didn't really stay too late, but it was a good time. I mean, lots of people looked like they were having fun there, so as long as everybody's safe or whatever, I'm good. I had a good New Year's, that's all, I, that's, that's all I'm trying to say. I had a good New Year's. Over everyone else did too. I guess it was my birthday in December. Uh, December 19th is my birthday, so I had a good birthday. Uh, good Christmas and a good New Year, so glad 2020 is over. This bush is just smoking them, huh? There you go. A good little run there for the Cayman. So that's that. Uh, that's a cool little car there on the right, huh? So that's it. I guess that's the whole video. Um, thanks for watching. I uh, hope that I was able to help you out and get you in a position where you could win this 
the Porsche Cayman GTS. Um, I think I did. I mean, I used a car that you could get from the auto show that's mm, relatively inexpensive. That most people have access to. Uh, the tune was good enough to win the championship. If I could do it, you could do it. I'm not one of the greatest drivers in the world, so I was able to do it. You could do it. So I feel like uh, I held up my end of the bargain there. So uh, go ahead and hit that sub button, hit that like button, comment if you're on YouTube. If there's anything you want to see, a uh, video you'd like to see, or a tune you'd like to see, or you have questions about tuning or, or building upgrade setups, go ahead and hit me up. I'm, I'm down for all that. Uh, again, thanks for watching. It's uh, My name is Mike Osborne, and uh, the channel is still in FAC on Twitch and not fooling around crew on YouTube. So. Thanks for watching and good luck out there racing and happy new year to everybody. I, you saw me pause it before I fucking drove off the road, right? I'm gonna end the video right here.